global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We're so excited to have you again. The Ukraine Russia crisis has been a subject of discussion among many and it seems to be encouraging a lot of things and for many it's kind of reawakening some dead intentions in the minds of people now the main people i'm talking about here is ipop ipop has decided also to speak about it and the person who is so bold enough to come out laying emphasis on it and giving the federal government a timeline uh, about the aggression going on in the southeast is actually the brother of the agitator Mazin Namdi Kanu, Biafra agitator Mazin Namdi Kanu, and he has sent very strong signals, you know, to the federal government. Also, in another news, one of Nigerian former South South senator has lambasted those who claim to be very rich in Nigeria, especially as it has to do with uh, the abandonment. Of Nigerians in Ukraine and Russia. We're going to be looking at those two news in a jiffy. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, let's look at the news in detail. The former Bielsa State Senator Ben Maurice Bruce has asked wealthy Nigerians to use their private jets to evacuate stranded Nigerians in Ukraine. Bruce urged Nigerian billionaires alongside those contesting for election in 2023 to search their conscience and use their jets to rescue Nigerians rather than carry their girlfriends to vacations. According to him, he said this crisis in Ukraine has lingered with Nigerian citizens unable to find a solution. The common sense senator wrote on his social media on Wednesday. He went further to say, I have a question for our billionaires and those aspiring for elective offices. How many of you have fueled your private jet and sent them to neighboring countries around Ukraine to help evacuate Nigerians home? None. But how many of you have fueled the same to carry your girlfriends to Harrods and fancy unnecessary races in Monaco, a number of you. Search your conscience and be a very useful and genuinely charitable Nigerian for once. Meanwhile, the Nigerian government has said that stranded citizens will be evacuated as from Wednesday from Poland, Hungary, Romania, and even Russia's airport. The foreign ministry, Joffrey, or minister of Joffrey, Onyema, however, said that some Nigerians are not willing to return to the country from Ukraine. Meanwhile, in another developer, Kanu, a brother of Mazinam the Kanu, leader of indigenous people of Biafra Ipo, has said the Nigerian government should learn from the war between Russia and Ukraine. Kanu warned that men would take to the street and defend themselves if the federal government continues its aggression in the southeast. In a tweet, the brother to IPOB leader noted that they would begin the defense within the next 48 hours. According to Kanu, he said, Dear at Nigerian government, let it be clear that 2022 is not 1967. Take a lesson from the Russian ukraine war if you continue with your aggression in biafra men will be on the street of hashtag biafra land within 48 hours we have to defend ourselves at fc doc government uk at state department at uk parliament at un his brother has been detained by the department of state services dss over his agitation for biafra the Nigerian government has dragged Kanu to court over a charge charges bordering on terrorism. The IPOB leader has been detained since June 2021 after his extraordinary rendition from Kenya. Hmm. Now, this statement made by Kanuta, it's um, called a very inducting statement, but the question is, where is it coming from? Can it be traceable to maybe a meeting that was had by the leadership of IPOP, or is it something that is spoken out spontaneously 
and uh, you know or is it that he has had meetings with people i think that's what the federal government may likely look at and some other persons may likely look at you know if you go to the social media you will notice that there had been a serious spore especially for people who have been maltreated people who have been marginalized people who have been treated with aggression and all of that i think that's one of the things that has sparked his interest to come out and make this strong declaration that 2022 is not 1967 that the nigerian government should learn from the russian ukraine crisis which is still ongoing i think today is the sixth or the seventh day since this whole thing started and uh, l- l- let's look at some of the reactions of nigerians when he made this statement because it's it's a very strong statement 48 hours he has given to the federal government but then let, let's just look at what nigerians have to say there all right, the first person in here who reacted to his statement says, Don't also forget that their leader didn't run away. He is there fighting with them. Hope you will stay to fight back once the war begins. Small as they shake. Uh, another person say, Now nah, nah so your mumu reach. Another person here say, It's like government Nigeria don't have thinking faculty. They should try they shouldn't try to invade their friend land at UN. They better bury their so-called evil presidency now. Another person here said, this is the kind of action required. Those who supported Ukraine's right to self-defense must also recognize the right of their friends to self-defense. What is good for the goose is also good for the gander. It is time to end these unprovoked invasion and kicking out of their friends. And I want to say, confirm you what good for them is also good for us. Remain blessed. And I person say, all of you running your mouth from the diaspora, when it happened, come down and fight and defend the land. Don't stay there enjoying yourself and jumping on social media to speak garbage. And I person here says, I have been this angry since the abduction of our leader. Maybe this is just the right time. Self-defense will prevail some other person here says where are you speaking from so that we should know whether to bring you forward so that you will fight for all of us hmm. someone here say it is written confirmed stamp and seal in heaven that it shall come to pass even the gates of hell knows that we are unstoppable a call for self-determination is not a call for war we must do everything possible to protect our lives for it is our right Another person here said, we have seriously tolerated this government for as long as now. So many people are talking here seriously. And uh, this other person here says, sorry, he says, you are calling on us to come and fight. I hope you are in the know that the government of Ukraine is an independent government. Your own that you are calling people to fight. What is the position of Biafra in the international map? So that person here says, nobody recognizes the government of Biafra. So all of these things you are saying is stories. So that person here says, if an independent state cannot be supported strongly, is it a dependent state like Biafra? It's better you get your sense correct. Someone says, says, smile, Ukraine is an independent state and not a dependent state. Biafra isn't. Let's all be wise. Another person here says, that's the only option our enemies call Nigeria can easily hear. Someone says here, poor mind. Another person here says, this is how we are going to be moving forward. Someone replied, they say, you and who is moving, Biko? That's quite funny there. And, uh, you know, this whole thing we're talking about requires a lot of pre- preparation or whatever thing. But, you know, I, I feel as of now, everybody should calm down some more. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> because um, already we have seen the impact on, uh, you know, Ukraine thus far. You've seen what Russia is doing. Uh, but however, let's see how we can do the right thing and get the right thing from our right info. I'd like to leave you there. Go to our comment section. Let's see.